Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. If, if you can't tell, I am on a kayak here, and uh, we have a light on the kayak. I, I guess it was a week ago I uploaded a video to the second channel, and we were trying to fish, right, Trent? Yeah. Yeah. Where? Oh, you're over there. I'm over here. So, so we were fishing uh, because we'd been working hard, and we just wanted to relax. The fish weren't biting. We were out here on the kayaks, and we decided to uh, just play with our headlamps in the water. There's milfoil all in the water here, and we discovered something really, really fun with our headlamps underwater. And uh, I'll just let you watch a little bit of that video. Okay, you ready to show them? Oh, yeah. Get your flashlight, go to the other side. So we figured this out. Put your light in the water, and you can see the beam, right? Now stick your arm further down underwater and aim up and it bounces off the top of the water. How cool is that? Neat. Okay, now if you go too far, it'll break through. That's cool. There's a thing called Snell's Window. Do you know about Snell's Window? Uh -uh. If you're scuba diving, for example, and you're in the water and you look up, you can see the sun, but you can only see it at a certain angle. So there's this window right above you where you can see the light coming through, but beyond that, the light reflects out. And so what Trent's doing over there has to do with the index of refraction of water. Can I oh, try it? Moving with the, yeah. Here, trade lights with me. Here, here's the camera. Oh, dude, that looks great from over here. Isn't that neat? And then it, it should just bust through. Look at that. You can see the beam goes, oh. Dude, it bends more when the. Uh, Did you see what happens though? Like half the beam punches through the water, half the beam doesn't. Watch. So the, the beam in the water goes dark. So coming up, 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 then it starts to go dark. And then the whole thing punches through. Wow. Uh, yes. Okay, fast forward to now. We've got lasers now <laughs> because some people said in the comments that it would be really cool if uh, we did this with lasers. Do you have those laser goggles? I gotta say, this is the only time I've ever wore lasers, <laughs> laser goggles on a kayak. Okay, we're gonna look goobers, man. All right, so here we go. Got a green laser. Um, it's not waterproof, so uh, I have it in a bag. 532 nanometer laser, and I'm wearing 532 nanometer goggles, which means I can't see this. I have no idea what's going on, but if I do this, Okay, I can see that that's green. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to play with the words I could not pull from my brain in the last episode, which was total internal reflection. That's what's going on here. So we're gonna play with total internal reflection. I have a bunch of goodies in my kayak. Okay, you ready? <laughs> you have no idea how goofy you look. This dude. makes so much, I love this so much. Okay, <laughs> all right, so uh, first up. That's heavy. Oh, that's heavy, it's making my kayak move. Okay. I have a sheet of acrylic and it's moving my kayak because it's so big. Cutting the light off. Golly, my nasty mustache. So if we shine this laser oh. into, oh, that looks rad. I can see it in the viewfinder. If I shine this laser into the side of this square acrylic block, you can see if I'm at a 90 degree angle to the block, the laser just goes straight through and bounces off the other side and it diffuses a little bit, right? But what happens if I angle this laser and I bounce it, look at that, the whole block lights up. And, and the reason it lights up is because that angle up top is an acute angle and all that light bounces around on the inside. Dude, this works so much better than I thought it would. <laughs> all right, so isn't that neat? Okay, so if we go down, let's go down, let's see if we can light this block up. Let's do it. Boom, we hit the corner, look at that, stuff starts bouncing around. So this total internal reflection is a thing. So if we just go straight across, you know, some stays in, some stays out, but, but, ooh, look at that. What just happened? Oh my gosh, I'm bouncing it back and forth. Did you see that? You can't see that, can you? <gasps> Do you see that? Oh, dude. What's happening? It's bouncing back and forth on the inside. I can see it with my goggles over here. You can see it with your goggles? Okay, here, we're gonna do it this way. Boom, right there. You see it bouncing back and forth? Can you see it? Can you zoom in? And it's get really the... hard to see it on camera. Is it really? How do you know you got laser goggles on, dude? I can see through the, the, the viewfinder. So long story short, if you can bounce a laser underneath the angle of incidence, then you can get what's called total internal reflection. And this happens 
when you have two transparent materials, ah, two transparent materials like uh, like air and water, or acrylic and air, acrylic and oh, acrylic and water. Okay, so that's acrylic. Let's move on to the next thing. Do we have the fiber optics? Yes, we do. <laughs> Let's get the fiber <laughs> optics on the kayak. Okay, total internal reflection. You totally. Oh, I don't need these. You totally know what's up with that. So we got a flashlight. We got fiber optics. I can't believe we got all this stuff in the kayak. So. So you know that that's how that works, right? So you've got the light that's going into the fibers and it's bouncing around on the inside of the fiber and it's going all the way through. You know what's about to happen. You know what's about to happen. Where's my laser? <laughs> oh, oh shoot. <laughs> all right, here we go. Laser, look at that. Same thing except I can't see it because I have laser goggles on. Uh, but as I move around, I'm assuming that it's going through the fibers all the way to the end. And the reason it's able to do that is it's bouncing all the way down the fibers like a pipe, total internal reflection. This is all stuff you know. This isn't, this isn't new stuff. So uh, we're just demonstrating that because it's awesome. What happens if I shine these fiber optic lasers into the water? Oh, it just kind of looks like a laser flashlight inside that okay okay all right so now the way that fiber optic works is really interesting i happen to bring a bigger version of this fiber optic with me this is a large dowel of acrylic because obviously this is what you take on a kayak so the way this works i'm gonna cut this off this is so gonna look like a lightsaber dude oh golly are you ready for this ready one two Oh! Put your goggles on. Oh yeah, my goggles. I'm sorry, dude. Thank you. Oh man. Oh my god. Does it look awesome? <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> <Does> it... <laughs> okay, can you see? I could only see it through the camera. Yeah? Because uh, we're being safe? It looks incredible. Okay, so the reason this looks like a gigantic fiber optic is because it is. <laughs> You can tell that it's an aspirin because of the way it is. All right, so you've got this low angle of incidence here. It's amazing. Put it in the water. Can I light up the whole water? I can't see that. Is it lighting up the water? I'm about to look. Look. <gasps> oh my gosh. Is it lighting up the water? Dude, you've got... I'm taking my... It's like a big flashlight at the end. I don't care. I'm going to quit talking and just do stuff. You could make a camera that would see all the way to the bottom, couldn't you? It's a light pipe. <laughs> light pipe. You could totally see, if it was polished on both ends, you could make a camera that would go all the way to the bottom. Uh, we brought we brought a gigantic piece of acrylic onto a kayak. <laughs> so we've done the square acrylic, we've done the, the, the fiber optic, both small and large. It's time for the Christmas ornament, okay. We have a Christmas ornament, and we've got murky water below. We're gonna need goggles for this one. Oh, oh that's acoustically pleasing. You wanna hear that. That was really nice. All right, so, oh, we got some milfoil in there. Ooh, that's gonna, that's gonna, it's gonna make it more interesting. Just dudes on boats with lasers, that's all this is. Freaking lasers, Freaking lasers on our kayaks, that's all this video is. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We should be able to see the light go straight through. And I have no idea what's happening. I can barely see it. I can barely see it. But what should happen, I'm gonna turn this off here. But what should happen is if I change the angle inside, we should get some weird bounciness going on, right? Yeah, we do. Let's get up here close. So we're straight here. So we're firing straight inside right there, and if I start to bounce things off the inside by shooting like across the cord instead of the diameter, we get all kinds of weirdness. What would be really cool is if we could take a shadow graph of this, if we could like blast this onto a large wall, we would see all the microbes and little things living inside there. Internal reflection does not have to be total. So if you meet this interface between the, the glass and the air, for example, 
some of the light goes out, some of the light stays in. And so that's why total internal reflection is so cool. Oh, look at that. When I hit that seam, you see that? When I hit the, the meniscus or whatever that's called at the top where it curves, it just totally blasts the whole, the whole bulb. You see what I'm saying? It makes a huge globe. So boom, I hit the curve, lights up, straight across, doesn't light up. That's fun. We're having fun. We're learning things. We're learning things on kayaks with lasers. Okay, so now it's time for more good sounds. Here we go. I think it's time. You think it's time? I think it's time. Laser underwater. We're gonna see if we can bounce a laser up off the bottom of the water. Here, here's the, here's the Christmas ornament. Everybody knows what's gonna happen. If the angle that it hits the top of the water from underwater is less than 50 degrees, then it'll bounce back into the water. But if it's above that, it'll punch out. I just want to see it from underwater. Okay, here we go. Tilt it back down, at some point all of the light should bounce underwater. There it goes. You should see the beam get lighter and lighter as I point it up more, that, that reflected beam. So as it's laying down, you should see full laser beam in the water. As I tilt it up and it bounces off the top, that reflected beam should get lighter and lighter as I go up and then at the maximum angle, once it hits the critical angle, the one inside should go dark and all the light should come straight out. Which is completely rad. All right, so in this video, we talked about the ability of light to bounce on the inside of an object uh, in a certain way called total internal reflection. I would like to tell you about a book that made me internally reflect as well. It's called Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. This episode of Smarter Every Day is sponsored by Audible, and I just really want you to read this book. Brian Stevenson is the guy that decided to be the lawyer for Anthony Ray Hinton, who was wrongly convicted of murder in Alabama, sentenced to death row. Brian Stevenson came to his aid, helped Anthony Ray Hinton get out of death row. It's an amazing book. I loved it. It made me reflect internally about my role in society and how I can help those without a voice. So please, Go check this out by going to audible.com slash smarter or texting the word smarter to 500, 500. The first book's free. You can get uh, two free Audible originals. This is a big book for me. I mean, in terms of making me think about my place in the world and what kinds of things I can do to help others. So again, you can get a free book or free 30 day trial on Audible by going to audible.com slash smarter or texting the word smarter to 500, 500. I highly recommend this book. You will totally dig it. So anyway, thank you for enjoying uh, total internal reflectance time with me here on the river. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. That's really cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. Last thing, feel free to unsubscribe to Smarter Every Day if you feel like this video earned it. By unsubscribe, I mean you can unsubscribe and then resubscribe maybe if it earned it and then click the bell to turn notifications on. If not, that's no big deal. But I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, like playing with total internal reflections on a kayak, it's just absolutely awesome. So I hope you enjoy this half as much as I do. I'm Destin. Again, feel free to subscribe. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Bye.